Hello, dear friends. Today we are going to learn about a fantasy drama film, Above the Shadows, from 2019. I wish you a good viewing. The film begins with a narrator telling us about an invisible girl who cannot be seen, but she is not a ghost. The narrator turns out to be our main character, Holly. In her memories, she talks about her older sister and younger brother. Being in the middle and calling herself ordinary, she usually fades into the background. Fortunately, her mother encourages and helps her to be heard. One day, her mom fell ill. The hospital assured the family that the treatment was working. However, her mother died, and then everything changed. Without her mom, Holly began to fade away. It started at home, when the family would only look at her when she caught their attention. During dinner, she sees her father checking on her sister and brother, but completely forgetting about Holly. She tells him that he never asked her about anything, and her father looks at her in surprise. This slowly spread to other areas of her life. At school, the teacher asks if anyone has any questions. Holly raises her hand, but no one sees or hears her. By the end of the summer, she completely disappears from people's sight and memory. This is cemented by the first day of school when she oversleeps and no one wakes her up. She confronts her family, but no one looks at her or responds to the girl. She grabs her father's hand and he screams in fright. He asks what happened. Holly, not realizing what is happening, joins the family as they take a photo. However, when she sees the photo, she is not in it at all. At first, she doesn't want to admit it, but it's hard to ignore. She has disappeared from everyone's sight and even memory. Over time, she adapts to her invisible life. She considers it quite normal because she lives in a house that is rented to a corporation. She gets her groceries delivered and it can help her keep her job. She works mostly at night, taking dirty photos of celebrities and selling them to tabloids. Holly continues to visit her family. Her brother lives at home in the basement, where he is working on an experimental movie. Her sister, on the other hand, is getting married. Finally, their father changed careers and found his love in commercial real estate. Dinner on Friday night is still a tradition for the family, and Holly always attends dinner, but does not join the family. Being invisible has its advantages, such as being able to go anywhere, not having to worry about rules or good manners, or even what she looks like. One evening, while following a couple, Shane spots Holly. Shane is a former MMA fighter. He asks her why she is following the couple and she gets kicked out of the club. She is surprised that he can see, hear, and even touch her. She tries to stop him from leaving, but a colleague orders him back inside. She thinks that other people can now hear her and tries to approach several of them, but is ignored. The next day, she visits her mother's grave and shares the news that someone can see the girl. But she also admits that she is still invisible to everyone else. Holly recalls a specific memory with her mother where she asks what will happen when she dies. Her mother promises that she will be with Holly whenever she needs her. When Holly returns home, she notices one of the tabloid newspapers she has been collecting. On the front page, Shane is kissing a woman, caught cheating. It is then that she realizes that he was not a random bouncer. She begins to look for information about him and finds out that he is a former world champion in MMA. He was considered an outsider, but after he won several fights, his career took off. He also dated Juliana, a famous celebrity, which cemented their status as the perfect couple. But things started to spiral out of control when photos surfaced of him cheating on Juliana. The breakup was inevitable, and his fans turned against him. It all ended when he lost to his rival. Holly returns to the club and waits for Shane to show up. She shows him the newspaper, but he throws it away angrily. She confesses that she took the photo. He asks her why she is telling him this, especially after the photo ruined his life. Careful to reveal the fact that she is invisible to others, she instead tells him that she wants to make amends. Unbelievably, he states that she must fix everything that went wrong to make it up to him. Taking him seriously, Holly agrees to try. He chases her away, but Holly offers to join him and his manager. If after five minutes he decides she can't help him, she will leave him alone. He allows it. At the bar, Shane quickly realizes that his manager really doesn't see Holly for some reason. She helps him during the meeting by telling him what his manager is planning to sign him up for. He asks how much it will cost, and the manager deceives him by saying that it's only $800 per performance, whereas it used to be $1,500. Shane leaves the bar and demands that Holly explain what happened. She admits that she is invisible. Shane doesn't understand what she means, because he can see her. To show that she's telling the truth, Holly stands in front of an approaching taxi. She claims that if the driver sees her, he should stop. Shane tells her to get out, but she insists that she needs him to believe her. He pushes her to safety as the taxi driver honks his horn and curses at him. He gestures at Holly, but the taxi driver doesn't see her. Finally, it dawns on him that Holly is indeed invisible to everyone but him. Too tired and drunk to understand the situation, he asks her to come to his house the next day if she is still invisible. When she visits Shane, Holly tells him that she hasn't always been invisible and Shane hasn't always been a loser. 
She thinks that if she fixes what she broke for Shane, things will go back to normal for both of them. Shane tells her that he is still struggling and invites Holly to watch. This is an underground battle. He wins. The manager pays him $300 for the fight, which seems suspicious to Holly. Shane claims that he does it because he loves the sport. Holly thinks he should look for better opponents and places to fight to earn more, but Shane doesn't believe that anyone he knows would want to challenge him. Holly asks him to bring her the list and she'll take care of it. As she researches the names Shane gives her, Holly settles on a rival who used to be in trouble after a steroid scandal. She breaks into his house and sends him a photo of the steroid pills he's taking. Inspired, she stops by Shane's place to tell him the good news. He receives a call from his manager and is informed that he will be fighting the said opponent. He asks her how she did it, but she refuses to say, advising him to worry about training. While preparing for the fight, Holly spends time taking pictures of Shane to help create his image. He notices a notification on Holly's phone about her brother's birthday and asks about her family. During the conversation about family, Shane listens to Holly's description of her sister and suggests that maybe her sister is pregnant. Holly stops by her sister's house to borrow some clothes. She goes to Shane's apartment where she watches him fight a rival. Despite a five-year hiatus, Shane unexpectedly wins. His manager cheers him on and also tells him that his fee for the fight is not as big as they had hoped. It seems that the manager took a bigger chunk out of each of Shane's payments. Shane returns home and Holly praises him. However, when she sees his injuries up close, she worries about him. He invites her to the roof to look at the full moon that night. They have a small argument after Shane asks her if she is real. She takes offense to this, arguing that just because other people can't see her, it doesn't mean she doesn't exist. Shane apologizes and admits that he wants her to be real. Holly asks him to prove it and he leans closer to kiss her. As he does so, a journalist takes a picture. Shane tries to catch up with him, but the man runs away. Holly tells him not to worry about it because she won't be in the photo. Crawling back down next to her, they talk some more and the situation escalates. That night, they become close. The next morning, Holly comes across a tabloid with Shane and a girl shadow on the cover. She is called the Shadow Girl and she is surprised to find herself in the photo again. Next, Shane meets his next opponent. During their press conference, the opponent annoys Shane with his arrogance. We also learn that Shane has finally fired his manager. Someone from the audience asks about the Shadow Girl. The press assumes that this girl is Juliana and that they are back together. Shane replies that he has no comment. After the press conference, Holly sneaks into her opponent's limousine. She blackmails him with photos of him sleeping with an underage girl. She demands that he withdraw from the fight against Shane. When Holly stops by the club after Shane's work, she hears Juliana calling him. He admits that he wasn't expecting to hear from her, and Holly notes that he's a winner again, implying that Juliana is only calling because she needs him again. After Shane defeats his opponent, Holly reaches out to her tabloid contact to offer an exclusive on Shane. The man refuses. She changes her tactics and instead tells him that his old rival Shane is the man who defeated him before and agrees to a rematch with him. He's interested and he looks for confirmation, but he doesn't find it because it's not true. Holly scares him that if he doesn't print it, she will pass the news on to his competitor. He decides to publish the news about the rematch. In search of blackmail material, Holly breaks into her rival's apartment but finds nothing useful. Then she goes to her sister's house to return the borrowed clothes. She finds her sister crying in the bathroom. Shane was right about her sister being pregnant, but she doesn't want to tell her husband. Holly receives a message that Juliana was on a date at the lounge. To find out the inside story, she goes there and finds out that her date was Shane. He accuses Holly of spying on him, but she explains that she came for Juliana, not Shane. He chases after her. They fight in the middle of the street and Holly asks him if that night meant nothing to him. She demands to know what he did with Julianne and he admits that he was curious and wanted to know what would happen. He also mentions that although he thinks she's great, she doesn't exist in the real world. To defend himself, he claims that Holly was using him too and was helping him to help herself. Holly admits that this may be all she can provide and announces that she couldn't find anything on Shane's old rival so she can't guarantee he'll win the fight. Shane realizes that she has been setting up fights for him. In anger, he asks her to leave him alone because he can't see her. Holly's life returns to its usual rhythm. She continues to sell compromising photos of celebrities. She also sees the news that Julianne and Shane are dating. It seems that these two are becoming the couple again. One evening, someone knocks on Holly's door. It's Shane. He admits that his life started falling apart not because of the photo Holly took. It wasn't the only reason he broke up with Juliana, and it wasn't the reason he lost his temper during the fight. He admits that somewhere along the way, he started thinking that the world owed him something, which led him to become lazy and cheat. He asks how he can make it up to her, and Holly kisses him. 
He pulls away and tells her that he cares about her and that he doesn't want to be that guy anymore. As advice, he says that Holly needs to come to terms with what happened. She takes offense to this, believing that Shane is telling her that it's her own fault for being invisible. Before he leaves, Shane leaves a flyer for a rematch with his rival and tells her that he hopes she comes to see the show. Holly sees that her reflection no longer appears in the mirror. Everything seems to have gotten worse. She rushes to the gym to find comfort from Shane. She knocks on the window and Shane hears. But when he looks up, he doesn't see her. She gets his attention by waving her arms, but gets no response. Her heart breaks when she sees Juliana hand him a towel. Juliana tells Shane that she's going to the set. He asks if Juliana only came to him because he won the fight. Juliana says yes, but refuses to apologize for it. Worried that she will soon disappear completely, Holly recalls what went wrong in her family. She helps her sister confess to her husband that she is pregnant by knocking over a trash can and discovering a pregnancy test that her sister had just thrown away. She watches the experimental movie her brother is working on and even says that it is very good. She helps him meet a girl by tripping over one of them in front of the house. The brother hurries to help the girl up. Holly turns her attention to their father and wonders aloud why he has never dated. As she searches through his room, it finally dawns on her that he is still in love with their mother. The loss of their mom didn't just happen to her, it happened to the whole family. But she acted as if it only affected her, ignoring the grief her family was going through. She pulls out a flyer for a rematch between Shayna and his opponent and decides it's time to change that. She gets to the fight on time and overcomes her fear of the crowd. Holly approaches the cagey and cheers Shaney on, even though he can't see or hear her. Shaney is knocked down, and Holly rushes inside the cagey, worried. The round ends and Shane recovers in his corner before the next round begins. Holly kneels down in front of him and whispers encouraging words to him. When he opens his eyes, he finally sees Holly again. Surprisingly, this time other people can see her. Before the fight is over, a guard approaches Holly to lead her outside. She realizes too late that other people can now see her. The fight ends with Shane's defeat. But all he can think about is Holly. He mutually breaks up with the vain Juliana. Shane catches up with Holly, who has been detained by hotel security. He urges them to stop, saying that she is with him. They reunite for a kiss. The movie ends with Holly walking in to see her father. He looks at her and finally remembers who she is, and they hug. If you've watched this video to the end, you should know that I'm glad to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to the channel and write in the comments what kind of retelling of the movie you would like to see. This was 18 Recapped. See you in the next video.